Hi friends, I'm Fossey, the herbivore hiker, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my choice of day packs. I've been on the journey for the perfect day pack for a lot of years, and I haven't got it quite right yet, but I haven't given up hope. About 15 years ago was when I remember getting one of my first day packs, which was a Kelty Arrowhead 2000, and it served me a lot of good years, but it was bulky, it was heavy, currently the lining starting to fade away and deteriorate, and in all honesty, it's a great bag for maybe going to school or packing up and going and doing something where I don't have to go for a long walk because it is so bulky and heavy. So a couple years ago, I transitioned to a new pack, the REI Stoke 19. And this pack has served me very well also over the years, but again, it wasn't quite right. Um, it has a lot of organization, a lot of pockets. There's a lot going on. It's definitely lighter than my Kelty, but still a little bulky. Um, and I never really liked the hip belt on it. I always felt that the uh, torso length was a little short for me, so it never quite fit the way I wanted it to. So, very good pack, and I'm glad I bought it when I did, and it has worked well for me, but I had to move on. Last year, I threw a hike to the Appalachian Trail, and at trail days, I received a free pack from Gregory, and this was it. A lot of through hikers got them. This was one of their free giveaways, and honestly, perfect slack pack, and that's primarily what I used it for on trail. Since then, I've kind of used it as my day pack. Since we're in quarantine and the stay-at-home orders are still in place, I haven't been doing a ton of hiking, so this has kind of served me as just a multi-purpose uh, stuff sack, really. As you can see, it doesn't have any outside pockets, um, so getting anything in and out of here is very difficult. There's no hip belt, and that was really my chief complaint about this style pack was that I really enjoy putting things on the outside of my pack, including my water bottles for easy access. Every time I want to drink or snack, I would have to take the pack off, open it up, take the stuff out, etc., etc., and that got tiresome. So while I love this pack and I will continue to use it for various things, it was still time to find something else. So the pack I have chosen has actually been referenced in quite a few of the YouTubers that I follow um, today as their primary day pack. And that got me thinking, maybe I should do a little research. After poking around and realizing that the latest version of this pack was exactly what I wanted, I decided to go for it. So here I am today to do a little... <laughs> unboxing video of my new REI Flash Pack 22. And here it is. And first things first, it's beautiful and I'm super excited about this. Um, I got one of their newest designs, which is like a desert scene. Um, and I love the colors. It's definitely something that's right up my alley, so I'm super excited about it. I'm not gonna talk a ton about the features of this pack today because I plan on doing an in-depth video about this pack and what I pack for my day hikes. So stick around for that video. But today, I really just wanted to focus on a couple of the key things that I was super excited about and why I purchased this pack. Um, so some of the things in the new version that they have, um, our side pockets, this top flap that covers the drawstring, um, the back pad that's inside of here doubles as a sit pad, can just pull out to be used on the ground. Um, the sternum strap and the hip belt are removable, which is kind of cool. There are tons of gear loops for extra customization of um, tension and compression as well as gear storage so you can add a bunch of things um, add your own features to the pack which is kind of cool um, also there is a trekking pole loop an ice axe loop 
um, which are both stowable inside of the uh, inside of the pack, so it will prevent things from getting snagged on, which is kind of neat. But the one feature about this pack, which is new to this version, and I kind of touched on briefly when I was talking about the Gregory pack, um, is these side pockets. New to this version, the pockets are tighter, they are taller, and they will prevent your water bottle from falling out, which is exactly why I wanted a new pack. So for a little demonstration, I've brought my smart water bottle with my Sawyer Squeeze on top of it. Now to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to demonstrate what this bottle looked like on my old REI pack. So on my old REI pack, the side pocket wasn't very deep. It wasn't very secure. It wasn't very tight. And although on the side of the bag with uh, the bottle with my Sawyer Squeeze on it, I was able to cinch this down and secure it to the pack and it would never fall out. On the other side where my other bottle was, it didn't have a Sawyer Squeeze on it. Therefore, this clip, as you can see here, would come right up to the top of the bottle and would never stay on. This bottle was always falling out of my pack and I would constantly have to be picking it up off the ground, especially when I'm scrambling or moving around a lot. Very inconvenient. So of course, the key feature that brought me to the flash pack was of course these deeper side pockets. Let's see if that really came through for me. And just as I expected, these are much taller, they come up much tighter, there's really no leeway, there's no room. And if for some reason I felt that this wasn't secure enough, there is a gear loop right here, and there's a gear loop right here, and if in fact I wanted to, I could put something over there that would keep this more secure. On both sides, it has that option. So it's very cool, it is exactly what I wanted, and I will be able to just reach grab my bottle and not have to worry about taking my pack off when I want to drink. At the same time I bought this backpack, I bought another piece of gear that I was super excited to try out. And that is the Kula cloth. If you don't know what this is, it is essentially a pee rag, but so much more because it not only is waterproof on the front, antimicrobial on the back, it snaps clothes for privacy and cleanliness, as well as it's easy to wash, quick to dry, and supports a really good local made in the US company right here in Washington state. I will be doing a video on feminine hygiene in the backcountry, and it will feature the Kula cloth. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but since I have a new backpack, a new Kula cloth, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it right now. And there we go, this backpack is ready for the trail, almost. I have a lot of day hikes planned for this summer and I'm super excited to test both pieces of gear on trail. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for future content. I'm Fossey, the herbivore hiker, and thanks for tuning in. Take care. Hey, the gorilla's loose. <laughs>